Sea travel is something which has piqued the interest of everyone who's ever lived. However, it has always been at an imperfect level, since the massive pollution caused by those ships make it a rather unhealthy mode of transportation, both for us and for our planet. Well, it seems like this will not be true for long, because today we have for you the potentially greenest vehicle for sea travel to ever exist. Welcome to TechSpot, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, let's just dive straight into the video. Sea travel has come a long way from its origins. We started off with just pieces of logs and some sticks to row them, to poorly designed rafts and canoes, and then after massive time gaps to the wooden warships, frigates, and schooners, and finally to the metal cruise ships and oil tankers and other boats we know today. This evolution has led to sea travel being quite a common thing in today's era, and today's waters are significantly safer than those of the 1700s. However, like almost all such fields, with evolution came pollution, and this led to the near destruction of many water bodies popular for their usage and trade. Have you ever seen an interpretation of the River Thames in England in the 1800s? This is a prime example of how damaging ships which constantly cough out dense clouds of black smoke can be, and unfortunately, sea travel has not evolved a lot since. Well, I guess I should say had not because the year of 2021 has witnessed a new evolution, which if successful, can potentially perfect sea travel once and for all. The difference between gas and nuclear engines. When you read our title, you may have felt a pang of fear instead of the intended excitement because of the word nuclear not having the best impression in history. So before we talk about the ship and subject, let's understand what exactly it is about nuclear energy which sets it above gas. The most basic advantage it has over gas is that nuclear energy is a green energy source, which means, unlike gas, it won't leave a trail of dense black smoke. Moreover, it's extremely efficient, since nuclear energy gives out much more power than all of its substitutes. What this means for sea travel, basically, is that if it succeeds, all ships might actually evolve into this new style and become pollution-free, which would be a great step towards repairing the damage we've caused to the environment so far. Have you seen the paintings where the future is represented with great white buildings, flying cars, and other such ideas? If such a convenient source of energy is mastered, this evolution of sea travel might just become the first step towards reaching that future. The beginning of the historic undertaking. Entrepreneur Aaron Oliveira presented his potentially revolutionary project to raise awareness about the environment during a launch dinner in Singapore. This project was the Earth 300 nuclear yacht, which according to him, will offer 10-day tours in which scientists and students will work together with high-level tourists like millionaires and celebrities who will have to pay about $3 million per trip. That's a lot of money, isn't it? But stay tuned, because he is more than enough reason for that charge. According to Aaron, the ships won't simply carry a crew, but also a group of climate scientists and students who will be on board examining the ocean during the tours. For this, the scientists will have to pay little or no money at all. The fee we mentioned before of $3 million will only be applicable for the wealthier tourists, and this will help to make the overall project more profitable and worth the all-round effort. During his presentation, Aaron mentioned that the intention behind the project is to save the environment and to inspire you people and promote science. A noble goal from every angle, and if anyone doubts it, well, the sheer effort put into the idea and design of the cruise would suggest otherwise. The Design of Earth 300 We've hyped up the design of this masterpiece a lot, haven't we? Now it's time to blow your mind still as we dive into the intricate details of this symbol of the future. The Earth 300 superyacht boasts a most clean, modern design, courtesy of Ivan Salas Jefferson. Ivan is a specialist in this type of ship, and he is absolutely not disappointed in this design. The yacht itself is a whopping 300 meters long and 60 meters high, and is capable of comfortably accommodating an entire population of 450 people. And this is just the beginning. The Earth 300 features 20 luxurious suites, and oh boy are these suites luxurious. The design of the interior dwarfs the details of even that of the houses of billionaires. However, luxury is not all the super yacht is capable of, because you can even find here a cantilevered observation deck, followed by what is truly the highlight of the ship. 
The design unlike any other, this is what the super yacht mainly attributes its futuristic look to. The main event of the ship, I guess we can call it, is the one and only Science Sphere. The Science Sphere is a 13-story glass sphere which houses 22 state-of-the-art laboratories. Here work about 160 scientists, researching and collecting information through thousands of built-in sensors. Not to mention that this super yacht is home to what is possibly the first commercial high seas quantum computer. The sphere itself is somewhat of a marvel, but then you see the amount of efficient work it houses and the ideas of the future represented in paintings don't feel too much of a dream anymore. Where does nuclear energy come into this? You may have thought to yourself, even for a cruise as luxurious as the Earth 300, the ticket price of $3 million per trip is too much. And for a generic luxury cruise, this couldn't be more true. However, there's a particular reason why this cruise is significantly more expensive than the rest, and you may have guessed what the reason is. It's the fact that the yacht is powered by a zero-emission atomic power plant. A United Kingdom-based company called Core Power is in the process of developing a molten salt reactor. For this, they are using a technology originally from the US nuclear company owned by Bill Gates called TerraPower. A marine version of this molten salt reactor will be installed in the Earth 300, which will power the entire ship without an ounce of pollution. According to the Earth 300, this marine version of the reactor produces atomic energy with a few moving parts, which leads to the production of sustainable clean energy required to sail the concept sea travel into the future. If the project comes to fruition, and if all the technical issues regarding both the reactor and the ship are cleared, the Earth 300 would be the first research vessel to make use of this revolutionary propulsion system. What will be the cost of this superyacht when it sets sail? Aaron is very clear about the project he plans to undertake, but there's still a long way to go before it finally comes true. It has taken him six whole years as well as four million dollars just to have a sufficiently advanced design to start listing the construction of the super yacht, which is planned to be carried out in shipyards in Europe and South Korea. Considering all of this, the total cost of the Earth 300 is estimated to be somewhere between a whopping 500 and 700 million dollars. That's quite a big number, isn't it? A part of this crazy amount would come from the pockets of private investors, but still, the majority of the money would only be obtained through traditional financial routes. The Plans for the Earth 300 According to Aaron, his plan for the superyacht is to make its first trip a tour around Antarctica, followed by a trip through the Arctic. The superyacht is said to sail for 300 days a year and generate a whopping $100 million from wealthy eco-tourists. They'll also receive income for renting it for events and using it as a set for movies. That's quite a lot of money to be earned and is definitely what we would assume as an entrepreneur's dream. But Oliviera is different. He has confirmed that his business plan has been tested by the financial company called KPMG and that's a massive 80% of the profits earned by this super yacht will go to environmental causes. Now that's a good man, and it still doesn't stop there, because he has also said that the scientific projects being undertaken here would be open source, with processing facilities and information found here being made available for other climate research efforts around the world. The yacht is scheduled to launch in the year 2025, but the possibility of this doesn't seem too likely, considering the fact that the certification of the reactor could on its own take up to about 5 to 7 years. Are you as excited about this massive project as we are? Be sure to write your opinions down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, be sure to give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. With that, we end our video. Thanks for stopping by guys and I hope to see you again next time.